Welcome to Sideboo, the podcast that dives deep into the chaotic world of combat sports and YouTuber news, where legends are made and controversies unfold. Here, we break down the fiercest fights, dissect the latest trends in martial arts, and explore the wild world of YouTube personalities that shape our entertainment landscape. Join us as we bring you exclusive insights, expert interviews, and highlight the untold stories behind the athletes and creators who capture our attention. And that, I think, is one of the things that's so commendable about like Max Holloway, oh, Justin yeah. Gaethje. Like, yeah. They don't get into that, like, I hate you stuff, but, like, they'll stand at bang, they stand in trade, they're always yeah. in the mix, you know? And hey, you know what's funny? Opposite. Yeah, what's funny is I actually watched, last night I watched Chandler versus Gaethje without commentary, because like, uh, UFC are doing that now, they upload fights without commentary. Nice. And, um, on YouTube? Yeah, it's, it's just on YouTube, yeah. Um, it's, way, it's way better experience of watching it, because sometimes I think... Did I think Chandler was getting battered because Joe Rogan kept saying it? Because, because like Joe Rogan is a good example of this. Someone will land the jab and take a step back, and Joe Rogan will be like, "Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt." And he's like, "No, he's just took a step back. Like he's just took a shot and took a step back. Like he's not hurt at all. Like what you're talking about." So that would always sway me sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I watched that last night, and then I thought, you know what? I want to watch. I want to watch Gaethje versus Holloway. So I put that on, but I couldn't get that without commentary. And um, that moment, man, where, where Holloway just points down mm -hmm. and he's like, come on. And to, to give a guy like Gaethje that chance is just ridiculous. Like, yeah. it's so, it's such, it's stupid in a way. Like, it's very stupid, but it was yeah. entertaining. I loved it. I, I mean, I love Max, uh, but that was just like, all right, you're, you're one of the best. Like, you're, you're crazy. You're, you're one of the best. Um, yeah. Max Holloway is just a monster. <laughs> he is, man. Like, you know, not to say Volk isn't, but Ma Max Defo is the goal, one of the yeah. goals of, of his division. Like, I mean, he, he's absolutely. just incredible. Like, and, and how long he's been in the sport for? Like, he fought Conor McGregor, like, when they were young. You know yes. what I mean? Like, Max has been fighting since, like, 19 or something like that. Yeah. It's insane. In the UFC, you know? Exactly. Like, he's been in the UFC for so long. And, like, I love, like, the fact that he comes from Hawaii because they have that a great fighting culture and uh, mm -hmm. he lives up to it so well. Like he has the chin that that they're known for and like they're not necessarily known for being slick fighters, but Max is Max is yeah, such a slick, slick fighter. Like it's unbelievable. Like I actually love uh, Taporia, you know the the Spanish champ um, that beat Volk. But part of me just wants Max to piece him up just for Max. You know what I mean? No, I, I thought. Um, sorry, I thought it was. They they both had like some crazy cool moments, but Max's chin was just yeah, it's insane. I mean, not to say Gaethje's chin didn't hold up the whole time, but he just got pieced up, I think, and then it just kind of wore down over time. But Max is just such a monster. And he was up. He's going up a weight class. It's not his natural weight class. Fighting one of the hardest strikers in that weight class, guy known to knock people's heads off, and he says. Right here, right now, let's finish this thing. And it was just like, oh, we, yeah. we, we were on the couch and we just like, oh my gosh, like yeah, got yeah. up and like celebrated, like, holy shit. <laughs> but know, I think crazy. that's the best moment ever in the sport. Like, I don't think there's a better moment in the sport than that. Like, and I know there's recency bias and all that stuff, but okay. when I actually think back, like, I think the only one that might top that is McGregor Aldo. Just, just for me personally, just because I, how much I love McGregor at the time. And but like like you say to fight Gaethje of all people and give him that chance right at the end it's just ridiculous. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is uh, this is this is one of the most iconic moments of all time. Holloway shows some mortality. Look at this. Holloway just told him, stand right here. Oh, oh big connection lead. Last second as well. Like, can you, know, can you imagine being in the crowd? Mate, I couldn't imagine being in the crowd because I'd probably be like concussed from excitement. But um, that, you know what's crazy about that as well is as his body hit the floor, it 
technically finished, so he might not have even... Like, if the UFC wanted to be cruel, they could have not give that as a KO, because it technically... The fight like, finished. as was falling, yeah. Yeah, so just everything about it, it's like, it's like... I'm not a big basketball guy, but there's like a timer that goes off for summer, and then people always take that last shot and try and get it before the timer. And uh-huh. that was like the MMA equivalent of that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure. That, that was a Hail Mary last moment, like, uh, just just let it all hang loose. Uh, crazy, crazy shit. Like, your, uh, your... Yeah, this one was... This one was more... For me, I, I like this one, the McGregor Aldo one, purely because of like it's just the skill set to be able to predict Aldo so well. Like it was just incredible. Yeah, it, it was the the punch right on the chin, first shot. Like it just everything happened just yeah. as he wanted it to. That's what I was gonna say. Like, not even the punch, but just before the punch, the way how he pulled out, knowing that Aldo was gonna lead, and he's pulled back, and then poof! It was just incredible, man. Impact, just one shot, face first. Boom. That was the one fight that my mum watched in the UFC, and then she said, "I'm not paying for another fight because that was too quick." <laughs> I was like, "Fair play." <laughs> that, that brings full circle back to Mike Tyson. That was why, the reason why a lot of his pay per views didn't do that well is because they yeah. didn't want to pay for something that was going to end so quickly. They were afraid. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of combat sports and beyond. We've seen the raw power of competition and the strange reality of social dynamics in our society. From fierce fighters in rings and octagons to the stark moments of influencers throwing money towards those in need. Every story we explore reveals another layer of our complex world. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to stay connected and continue this adventure with us.